Hello everyone, FunshineX here, bringing you episode 9 of Computerizing Minecraft, my Let's Play Minecraft with Mods. I hope you guys have been anticipating this cool episode where we finally took one of our farms and computerized it like I said I would. Uh, you're looking at a reed farm, uh, looks or sugarcane farm, looks pretty normal from the outside. I uh, added two more rows down here, they just, just barely planted them. Uh, you'll know I have no XP because I died walking off the back of this thing and... Thought I could hit the water and nope, landed right there. Anyway, so I have no experience. I'll get it back. Anyway, um, got a gate here. This is gate is measuring engine heat. So I've got a gate here. This gate is measuring empty inventory. So that's where there has fuel or not. Uh, here's where the reeds come. I probably don't need a copper chest here because they're only in there for the split second before this filter sucks them out one at a time with that timer, and uh, let's go down and check out the results. I'm not going to show you that yet. Sneak right by. Um, Alright, here's the complete project over here. This is where you would store your fuel. I need to go make more alimentum, and I've got a filter pulling those out one at a time. I can either do it manually or this gray little signal there. The uh, re a sugar cane that comes down will come down this tube, go through an item detector, and into this chest. I've already made quite a few stacks there. And uh, over here they're all into a bundled cable. The yellow one, that was the one measuring whether it had fuel in it. And you've got... Uh, I know, was, actually that was this one. The red one measuring fuel. The yellow one was measuring uh, heat. There we go. White one measuring the number harvested and the gray one uh, is actually an input to tell that to send fuel. Okay, so let's check this out. I added a monitor to it, and here it is. Ta-da! Sugarcane farm. I just get four little stats here. Fuel. It's got fuel, so it says yes. It could say no, and that would most likely mean that I'm out of fuel there, so I'd have to go restock it. Uh, so I can instantly know just by looking at this monitor whether that chest has fuel in it. Heat is okay. Um, if the heat turns ever turns yellow or red, this will say critical. I haven't accessed or put in like a fail-safe switch other than that uh, redstone signal that's coming out of that gate is what's turning that engine on, and it's only when the engine is safe. So if it ever does yellow or hot, it should automatically turn the engine off and put a critical here. Harvested, that's my harvested count. So I've currently had 43 sugar cane come through here, and that's, you know, I've obviously got more, but I, I reset the program. So that's one side effect of this is I'm not right really remembering total harvested. This is just kind of like, you know, since the computer boot up, uh, last booted. Um, I probably am going to change that in the future to say, like, harvested per hour. And what I'll do is I'll just start a timer and for, like, five minutes. And then however many come through, I'll just multiply that to get harvested per hour, and then I can just always come here and be like, oh, I'm making, you know, 100 an hour or something, I don't know. EMC gain, this is doing a little bit of math, I'm taking the cost of a red power and a coal in EMC uh, from equivalent exchange, and because that's what it takes to get that alimentium, and I'm taking the number of harvested and multiplying that by the EMC of a reed farm, or a sugar cane, sorry, and then dividing the two to get my percentage gain. So right now I'm making 366% of the EMC I put in. So almost four back for every one I put in, which is pretty good. And you'll see it'll go up as more come harvested. And this actually, I think, just started a fuel. So every time it pumps in a new fuel, you know, your efficiency goes down because the average goes gets worse. But then over time, the average will go up. I think this runs at about 500%. It's probably going to be higher now that I've got the uh, the extra two levels there, so I'm hoping this will hit 1,000%. That's my goal. If it doesn't, then I'll have to add more levels. And that's uh, computerized. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you guys think I should add any more stats or any more control. I do know, you know, the you know automatically supplying this thing or creating the elementum or something like that on the fly would be cool, but this was my first attempt at making a computerized machine, and I think it's good. Everything's controlled by the computer. It knows when to send up fuel, all that kind of stuff. So there we go. You can see our efficiency 408, so it's still climbing. 
And, you know, sugar cane farms don't grow too fast. You really do need multiple layers because that uh, uh, forestry machine can harvest in a large area, uh, both up and down and width and height there. Yeah. So, is it going to capture that one? I'm just still making sure it runs or manually is running like it's supposed to because I don't trust the system completely yet. But I don't know, just maybe that's one's too far away for it to harvest. Or it's just slow. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, let's go um get our axe out, come to our to-do list and go kabam. Cool. All right, so what's left on our to-do list right now? Chainsaw and Divining Rod are really fast, so I think I'm going to do that first. I want to get Napiri just so I can start my Steadfast Drone, or Bee. Someone told me it's rare, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I haven't seen many beehives out in the world. Um, I know there's one back my old base, so I might go grab that one as well, just see what kind of bees in there. I do want to add a little bit of solar power. Not much, but I just need some passive gain. Someone was saying now that I do live up on this mountain, I could probably go with wind generation. Maybe I'll make one and see how much it generates to see. I've got a cool system I want to do with red power lights and home automation. Uh, but I'm not sure this home's going to be appropriate for it because I built it with only one level on in between each floor. So there's not a lot of room to hide wiring and lights and all that kind of stuff like I would like to do. So I might just light this house up just with some red power lights and uh, that just turn on and off with a simple switch on my computer. Oh, so might not be too impressive, but I do have a system that I want to put into another building. Uh, so yeah, let's get going. The divining rod and the chainsaw. Okay, first I'm going to have to find my divining rod. There she is. I'm still using Sorex. I'm still missing textures for forestry, for red power. Hopefully those come out soon um, so that everything kind of matches. I think I think uh, since the graphics on uh, Thumbcraft are so good that it kind of fits on on itself. But it's a kind of opinion of the, uh, the users. Let's get rid of some of this stuff I don't need anymore. You can go there. Alright. Fine, you can go there too. Divining rod is going to take a diamond. Do I have any? Did I make a covalence dust? I did. I think I was uh, repairing my some of my weapons because they were getting low. So let's take a uh, crafting bench or crafting table. I wonder if I already upgraded this and just forgot. <laughs> I probably did. I think I did. I think this is a tier 3 divining rod. You can tell easily if it goes up to 64. Okay, so get the axe out. It was already done. I must have done it uh, in between. I forgot. Okay, back to you. Commands dust in there. Chainsaw. Let's see what I got in these guys. I'm going to need some copper cables and some tin. Ooh, I'm low on cabling. Still got plenty of rubber, though. I'm getting low on resources. Uh, iron. Where are you? Should be enough. Oops. Okay, battery. And I'm going to have to check the recipe. Let's 
circuit and bind iron. Just barely enough. Oh, nope, I don't have enough because I need one more for the circuit. Unless I have a circuit already made. Let's check. Nope. I think it's about time to upgrade my IC machines, huh? These furnaces are too slow. Prepare for something else while that's cooking. I guess I could have built that down there. Oh well. Uh, cabling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chainsaw. Awesome. The sounds enabled for this guy? No, they get disabled too. This is the one with the cool sound, even though it is really loud, but it's fun to put in there. Okay, uh, into the MFE you go. See this thing, you know, I get a ton of stuff from Alimentium, but it's not, you know, I, it's self-refilling. I have to actually babysit it and give it more all the time, so I'd rather get some solar just to give it a little bit of edge. Okay, we're gonna go use this chainsaw for fun here. Should we go kill mobs with it? Probably should. <laughs> you like my sword? I love my sword. <laughs> How much? I just took so much durability. All right, watch this chainsaw. Boom. <laughs> Goodbye, tree. All right, where's the jungle? Oops. Yes. I probably won't let me put one there because of. Oh, it went. Cool. Now. Okay, be prepared for some lag. Here it comes. Pig. I'm trying to show me cutting down a jungle tree. <laughs> okay, that's a little OP. That's the last jungle tree I'll cut down with that. I just wanted to do it. Um, if you didn't watch the first episode, I do have Tree Capitator, and I only enabled it for the chainsaw. So that's the whole reason I wanted this chainsaw. <sighs> it's going to take forever to all that despawn. Chainsaw um, cuts trees really fast. It, when it cuts leaves, it acts like shears, so you actually get the leaves back. And uh, it doesn't usually cut down the tree. That's a mod that I have called Tree Capitator. And it's also um, does decent uh, attacking. So it's like a, I think, equivalent to an iron sword. I need some of that. White, that birch. The thing I love about Portal Gun is, you know, I, I can just walk around the world and not ever have to worry about getting lost because I can just take the portal home. Otherwise, you guys would see me like wasting time putting waypoints or torches or. I wonder if I can cut down a silver grape tree. No. Yeah, that's the problem with some of like the modded trees is they don't work like this. Do I have any dirt or anything? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, of course, it's like one. Can I get these bushes? Ooh, I can. Cool. I like that. Doesn't cut them quickly, but. Oh, 
awesome. Let's get more of these little guys. All right, I'm going to cut down a few more trees just so I never have to worry about wood again. <laughs> Not really, but uh, and I'll be back. All right, I stumbled across a really cool area. This is like a mountain jungle biome. I've never seen one of these before. And it's got this nice alcove with this like daunting mountain here. I'm going to put a waypoint. This is worthy of one. Oops. Turn it off so it doesn't bug me. I don't have to see it, but if I ever want to get back to it, I can. And I really like climbing the uh, the vines. It's cool. Very nice addition. And then this is like almost a partial ravine in the middle. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I don't really mind much since I switched to Sora because the texture's really really cool. Alright, we'll be back. Found a volcano right in the middle of the jungle. And uh the cool thing about this volcano is hello, apple tree. Huh? It's weird to just find that. There's saplings here too. The it's really weird. Um cool thing about this volcano is it's like steep. Most of the red power volcanoes I've seen have been really flat, and they just don't look like a good volcano like you'd picture with a cone on top and just being towering above the landscape. And this one's actually a kind of a trick to jump up here. Let's see how the top looks. They always kind of look weak, you know, coming out. It'd be nice if there was at least like a spout or something. Did I bring a bucket? Anyway, so, yeah, this volcano looks really cool. It's so high. What level are we at? 102, something like that. I haven't seen anything else interesting around it, but I really love that mountain jungle. That just looks really cool. What's that dark wood? Go check. All right, found a new item that I've never seen before, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy. Is full. I also got a fern. I'm not sure what that is. Oh man, I don't need any vines or seeds. Okay, we found indigo. Oh, okay. I know what that is. It's just this texture pack is like messing me up. I'm wondering what this dark tree is over here. It's really cool looking. Oh, come on, let me up. Should be able to climb that vine. Okay, we found a new tree. It's like, maybe this is a red power tree, like the old red power. Or, uh, rubber? Yeah, rubber wood. Okay, cool. They just look dark in this world. Might as well take a little bit of it. I think these only grow in jungles now. But this is the only one I saw. And it doesn't work with my chainsaw. Oh well, that would be a lot of wood. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it home. And it's getting dark, so that's gonna be the end of our tree cutting journey. Oh no, throw a stick, not portal gun. All right, make sure I do the right one here. Nope. Uh oh. Remember what I said about not getting lost? Is that the, that's the volcano? So we must be back this way.
Okay, this is dangerous. Need to get our uh, chainsaw out. Um, that Zephyr Sword is really nice uh, until you go to fight a creeper and you right click to block and it uses its special action and flings the creeper at you. Uh, that was a little bit scary. Oh man, if I lost my house. I might just have to rage enough to go into creative mode and fly. Because... I don't know why I didn't set a waypoint. Okay, when in doubt, climb to the top of a tree. If not, I'll just have to go to the recording and check out my coordinates. Oh, no, no. Don't die, don't die, don't die. This thing is a little bit difficult to use. There's the volcano. Yep, completely lost. I'll pause it and go get the coordinate. Okay, from what I can tell, my house is back on that mountain, so I think we're good. Hello, zombie. Chest my chainsaw out on you. Whoa, whoa, I see something. You see what I see? Whoa, creeper. Creeper, 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 and lots of creepers. And creepers are kind of boring on Sorex, then they blend in the grass really well. Anyway, uh, look at this thing. This is a obelisk, I think. Whoa, activated it. Not sure I wanted to activate it. Supposedly somehow you get into them. I don't know what that means, but and then there's loot or something. Oh, I found a beehive hanging. Now that's like how a beehive should be. No, the other one I've just found is just like on the ground. That one's like hanging from a tree. What do you do? Do you just chop them down? No? Oh. <laughs> Alright, I really need to learn what you do for beekeeping. But there's another one right here. Maybe, uh, I, since there's two of them. Let's get the zombie. Oh, that's a good zombie. Might have a zombie head. Yeah, brain. Oh, skeleton. That's another thing about uh, chainsaws you can't block, but oh well. What can we lose? Sapling, hands on feet. Those brains are good for researching and hopefully finding a brain in a jar, which works better than a bookcase for research things. Call this obelisk. Alright, let's try chopping this thing down with a drill. You scared me, pig. Lit the thing up. Hmm. Alright. Guess we won't be touching that bee for a while. I want to get home. Whoa! <laughs> that was just a little too scary in there. Alright, please be our house. Please be our house. I think that's our house. Hooray! Okay, and I think I finally gave myself an entrance over here. Why did I build a house on the hill? I mean, it's fine at Skyblock because you never leave, but... We're home, we made it. Sleep time. I 
Okay. I'm not sure if I ever showed this and closed this room. It's pretty lame, but... Uh, Thumbcraft. Time to make a Thumbcraft item. Let me get the recipe. Actually, I need to take my inventory out first. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I need is some cool boots. These iron boots are not cutting it. Uh, Thumbcraft has quite a few boots. Void metal boots, boots of the meteor, seven league boots, boots of striding, and thomium boots. Those ones are just, I don't know what, that's probably just armor. But there's one specific ones that I am looking for. Maybe they're not called boots. Maybe I need to research them. Hmm. I'll go look up. Be right back. Okay, I do not have to learn them, but I do have to build them in my uh, whatever that thing's called. <laughs> Infuser. So, let's get the things for them. First, I need some leather. How much do I have of that? If any. Oh, what do you look like in this texture pack? Just barely enough. I need a feather. I got one of those. I knew that extra feather would come in handy. Who knew back on episode one that I was talking about feathers and thumbcraft that I'd be so correct. And we need one of the blue crystals. Not aqueous. Earth and the iron. Kind of blue green. And uh, come to this guy. Make some boots. Put the boots in here with a feather and a crystal goes. She use quite a bit. I think it's 50. And that gets me my boots of striding. Sweet. What these guys do is you I think run a little faster. Yeah, it looks like I'm running faster. Let's go up on the roof. I got plenty of area there. Whoa. Okay, and you also thought you jumped higher. Yep, watch. Whee. Another thing cool they do, let's see if I can get out to... Can we make that jump? Let's try it. I'm supposed to take a lot less fall damage, but I want to show running up a mountain. Ready? Oh, I thought these were changed so you could run up blocks. That must be a different set of boots. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> Um, I like them. They're faster than my iron boots. I can jump high. Um, now I can jump up on fences, you know, easier. Okay, I want uh, actually more thomium, thomium craft items. Okay, I've got everything I need. Let's go down to the thomium craft area. We'll take. Uh, let's build two of them. Oh, come on. Two compasses, two gold, I need a beast crystal, and a tainted crystal. How's there? And that gives me a taint detector. And the beast in there. You guessed it. Vis detector. Now, you'll see those little things up here on the right of my screen. I've got a vis on the left and a taint on the right. So, vis, I've got you know, maybe a third. And taint is pretty low. I think these crystals are doing pretty well. Okay, but let's not end there. If we go in here and get a vaporous, a fire, aqueous. Earthen and 
put both detectors in. Plus 50 V, so we just use 150 V's altogether. We got a thermometer. Okay, now this guy's cool. It gives you both actions as before. So you see the, uh, the meter there on the left. But also, if I click on something, it says, okay, well, this tank has 43 V's in it and zero T. That's only at 9% of what it can hold. Cool. This thing is at zero, zero. This one has 151 taint in it. We gotta get rid of that somehow. Okay, that's it. Am I done with Homecraft? No, I want one more item. Come on, one more item. One of those and one of those. Watch this little trick. Oh no. We're out. I got a sign. Do you want a sign? Oh, goodness. This thing's not easy to throw into. No, I think this thing takes 50 bees. Uh, let's throw in one of these, two of those trees. Oh, come on. So now let's check it out. We got 178 taint. But this thing is now done. A wand of fire. <laughs> I got a little too uh, old with um, having to cook my chickens and and pigs after I kill them. So instead, I decided that when I find a pig, oh, he's going to be in the water, isn't he? It's going to totally ruin this. I'm just going to light him on fire, cook my meat. <laughs> Cooked pork chops, anyone? Pretty cool, huh? Oh, I wanted to... Where's... Oh, I put my chainsaw away. I wanted to test if the chainsaw took wool off. I think it does. But I... it's been a while. There's another pig. Oh, well. Just wanted to show off this wand. Doesn't do a ton of damage. That was close. But it is nice that it cooks your food for you. That and my bag of tricks. I don't think I need that in my... Yeah, it could just be in my inventory to get those bars. That is cool. Alright, we are over 30 minutes. Let's check if there's anything else we want to do. That's quick. Beekeeping solar power. I think that's going to be episode, the next episode, episode 10. Episode 10 is going to be an hour long. Hooray! And I will provide a map download at the end. Uh, but to get the map done in the world, we have to get at least, um, let's say 100 views. I'm not going to be that mean. Because my channel is still new, still growing. So I'm not going to ask for like 1,000 likes. No. Uh, 100 views, 10 likes, maybe we'll get a map download. And the texture pack downloads, um, I'll, I Point you towards Sorex fan version if you want Sorex. I'll give you my config files um, so that you can load this world up and play around with the read farm. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys back for episode 10. This has been Funshine X and Computerizing Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.